Oh, wow. Oh, Billy. Oh, wow. This is what you get when you have nice things. Please wait. Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to part two. Um, we are installing our 12 inch Holly EFI live dash. Um, as you can see we have our three basic wires here. Signal wire, ground wire, power wire, and then this wire that runs down the floor to the, all the sensors. Oh my lord. No. Okay. Um, so this is actually the first turn on I'm ever going to see. Not, don't, 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 don't take it that way. but. Um, yeah, so let's see. We got all our gauges working up here. We have ignition and, oh, I didn't think that'd do that. We have ignition, start, and then these, we will actually have a uh, radiator fan, trans fan, tail light, headlight. But for now, we're gonna power the ignition on. Oh, oh Billy. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh. Let's go through these. Okay, battery's at 11.5. Water pump. Can't do nothing there. Okay, let's go back. Let's just, just... Damn. Damn. Golly, son. Well, damn. We're gonna go with that one for now so I can look at the volts. I doubt it's gonna start, but it's worth a shot. Can we get a ripping shot? <laughs> the old battery, the girl battery. She's not need cool. a new battery. Yeah, I've been figured it's in for a year and it's not gonna run right. You know what I'm saying the battery. Okay, let's go to one that has okay, no data, oil pressure, fuel pressure. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Excuse the loud it's probably fuel gonna, pump. It's probably, yeah, it's got a loud fuel pump in it. Is it going to load up to that one? No. Okay. Well, that's fine, though. Next. 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 I kind of like that one. Oil pressure, fuel pressure, AF, and volts. I like that screen. That screen pretty alive. I just don't. We, we can figure that out later. Uh, this is my first time using one of these, but um, yeah. So now we're gonna find a place to mount this, honey. And uh, oh yeah, uh, we got a little excited. We just want to wire it up, please. So that's why I just turn it on seamlessly. Yeah. Right now we gotta. Excuse me. Nathan. Thank you. My mama said, I wasn't And then, there, there's the old girl over there. The yeah, she's a little jealous right now. Because and she's a little jealous. Baby girl in there, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, she's going to be on the back burner for a while. So We're going to have it on the back burner because this needs a lot more work. Yeah. And I need to get a new battery for that. This, this, this is good. We're doing a little mock up here. Now, I know y'all are all going to probably yell at me. Because uh, you'll probably be like, why are you using dip ties on a fucking $30,000 dash? Well, here's the thing. I'm broke. <laughs> I need this to stay where I can see it. So, to resolve this problem. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do. Hey, little zip. Hey, it's not permanent. 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 It's not permanent. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but is it here to gauge a view and see how you would like the holly screen to be? Okay, that's holding up now. I want to see how my oh, oh, Billy! That looks so cool. Oh, shit! I could get used to this in time, though. Yeah. Now let's just hope to God, because it's probably gonna still be like this when we go for our first drive. 
Let's hope this doesn't fall. If it falls, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> if it falls, I'm gonna cry. Yes, and we're taking a trip to Dallas. Yeah, take a trip to Dallas. Yeah, but, but for the first drive, we'll make sure that thing's actually secured. Oh, yeah, uh, and um, the new, uh, uh, the S10 is getting a new, uh, is getting a new gauge, AFR, because we, in Holly, in the Holly screen, we can see almost everything that we need to see. And uh, the old S10 don't have an AFR gauge, so. That's what we're gonna put in Yeah, this we're gonna, she's a little jealous right now that I'm working on this, but I'm gonna make it up to her and give her an AFR gauge because she really needs it. And some other goodies. And for nitrous, it's kind of a good idea. Yeah. So, let's put you there. For, no, come on, come, come on. I messed up. What happened? Yep, messed it up. Wait, wait. I might be able to recover from this. Nope, can't recover from this. Yeah, but that would do. Ah! <laughs> Here you go, trash boy. Try it this way. Since his lid will take too long, I'll come back when he's done. All right, guys. So now we got it temporarily mounted. Hey. It doesn't seem like it's gonna go anywhere. I mean, I'm putting a good bit of force on it. Yeah, she she pretty stable. So now we're gonna. Oh wow. Oh Billy. Oh wow. This is what you get when you have nice things. Oh, okay, so there is a downfall. In my peripheral vision, I could pair, I could see the oil pressure, but if I close one eye, I can't see it. So it's kind of like, I can, but can't. But I could see every, all of it, so we're getting there. Let's see, where's the volts at? 10 volts? Let's see what it does when I turn it back on, if it jumps to 11 or not. Actually, nine. <laughs> Damn. Um, hey, man, the, <clears throat> the battery's not that good, so it's all right. Well, we can jump it off. Yeah. Because I want to see if all this works before I. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, but now right, but right now we're gonna give you a rundown. Yep. Of what's all done. So. So when I first got the truck, y'all know, my first high school truck, if y'all followed me for that long. Um, when I first got it, I put this in here. And only the ignition and two of these worked. So I got rid of, I told, I told him when I dropped it off, I want the panel to work. I don't want a key no more. And that's what happened. So, I gutted the interior, gutted the bucket seat, put these seats in. Made investment to build the trans, and then turboed it when I got good enough, and then we took it to uh, Quidus and Cars right before the turbo, and here's a clip of that. And then, um, yeah, after Quidus and Cars, I wanted to turbo it, so I did, and that only lasted a month. The boost fooler, uh, or the boost, the boost, knob the discombobulator thingy um broke and decided to go with wastegate pressure and that was 20 pounds of boost and blew the motor up so then lo and behold the guy who put the the, the turbo kit on which uh shout out to wicked fab for his amazing work with um the build I contact like info in the description yes <sighs> um, but he was there, so I walk up to him after I loaded it on the trailer. And I say, "How much for an LS swap?" 
Manny said, are you ready? I said, I'm ready if you're ready. So we worked out a deal, dropped it off at the shop, and... A year later. A year later, it's back. One yeah. year later, it is back. Yeah. So as far as parts go and specs on this, it has the, obviously, the Holly 12-inch screen, the Terminator X, um, ECU. It has a switch panel down there for all the fuses, for everything connected to the Holly. In the fuel cell, we have a Waldor 450 fuel pump with the double connection because the Holly didn't come with it for some reason. And we have a TCI reverse valve body shifter. So you have park, reverse, neutral, drive, third, second, first. And then for harnesses, these have been in here. We have 50 cals, uh, racing harnesses. I like the purple because they just look badass. And now, yeah. um, trans built trans, 4L60E. It, it's a built for 4L60E, which I don't know why I did it, but I did. But it's built for a thousand horsepower. So we ain't got to worry about it. Gonna, I don't have to worry about it because I know how these are when you go a little overstocked. So I took the time to build it instead of having to pull it back out. Um, as far as motor goes, we have a 5.3 Gen 3 block. Um, <clears throat> it has cam, intake, injectors, throttle body, uh, and exa well, exhaust work done. Um, the heads and intake are ported and polished just a little bit, nothing fancy, just something to give it more air. Um, what we're for a 1900 pound truck with about 380 to 400 horsepower is what we're guessing and yes it will be a run on e everything's rated for it um if if the calculator that i did online last night is right it says this truck will run not in the nines which will be faster than old sweetheart over there sitting all lonely but um it's just one of those things. I've waited so long to get this truck, and it's finally back in my possession. And right now, I have to find somebody to build me a drive shaft, and I have to install a radiator. And then go get it tuned. And then we should be able to take it to its first track night again. Yeah. Because everything else is pretty much ready. I mean, we, there's really not much left to do other than finish... Uh, some wire some, right here. Some tying up some wires, yeah. which is no big deal. And the question <laughs> is, um, are we gonna race that? As are we this. gonna race Nightmare versus Red Devil? The answer to that question is yes. Yes. But we gotta let him get used to the S10 first because yeah. that's a lot of truck for him. Oh, and I gotta get used to my Nissan first yeah. because. It's a water motor for a small truck and a light truck at that. So we're both going to be kind of taking weekends, trading off, going, and um, I take the Nissan out for a night. He takes the S10 out for a night. And then eventually once he can get into the nitrous and I'm going to put nitrous on this motor eventually, nothing big, probably a 75 shot or a hundred just to give it a little little extra push, extra push if I need it. Yeah, we have the fuel for it. We, have, plenty. we definitely have, <laughs> definitely you know. have the fuel for it. Um, and then when I get tired of that, really it's it's going to come down to putting pistons and a crank in it and turbo, ton turbo in it. On. And we're going to go with twin 70s. That way we have the turbo and we just have to change wastegates, this, that, the other. Um, Nothing too crazy for there's me. Really all that has to be done to go turbo is the piping. It's got the cam for a turbo, it's got the injectors for a turbo, it's definitely got the fuel pump for the turbo. And uh, his, his exhaust setup, all you gotta do is... All you gotta do is cut off the B-band and yeah, put the turbo cut on. Cut off B-band, put the turbo on it, and then we're good. And if you wanna see my journey of, cause I'm a new to all this stuff, channel description. 
But um, yeah guys, so um, we'll come back. We are going to actually hook this up to a jumper and get it started to make sure all the sensors are working for the Holly because it's the first time I've actually put it in and I've never actually ran it on the Holly uh, dash yet. So um, we'll be back with you shortly. All right, so uh, we had a, I didn't realize that the battery box wasn't on. It might start now. Or not. <laughs> Ripping the chair. We're gonna push it outside. We're gonna push it outside. Um, get uh, jump it off, and then we're gonna see if the folly cage works. Cage. Come on. Billy. Now, I'll plug that and I'm gonna see if it starts right back up. You see the card? Yeah. Wow. It's solid mounted. Alright, three, two, one, unplug. Nah, she didn't. No. Shoot, shout, shout it clean. Darn nice. Everything worked, dude, that yeah. gauge? Oh, oh my god. All I smell is rich gas. Rich. 